Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this ladybug. Let's open a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Let's change the fur color to black. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard draw a big circle. Now we are going to make another circle on top of this one. Press the letter S for the scale tool, press enter, type 110 for the uniform and click copy. Let's change the color of this circle to red. Now press V for the selection tool, click on the circle and holding the Alt key on your keyboard, move it down to make a copy. Holding the Shift key select both circles, go to the Pathfinder and select Intersect. Now we are going to copy and reflect this part to the other side. Press O for the Reflect tool and holding the Alt key on your keyboard, click somewhere here to set the reflection point. Select the vertical axis and change the angle to 45. Click copy. Now go to the pen tool and select the delete anchor point tool. And click on this anchor point to delete it. Press V for the selection tool. Select this part and move it down. Now select the bottom part. Go to Object, Arrange and select Send to Front. Using the Direct Selection tool, select this point and move it down a bit. Now drag a box to select everything, open the Stroke panel and change the Stroke weight to 5. Now we are going to draw a face. Let's change the fill color to white. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool and let's make a small circle. Press S for the scale tool, press enter, type 70 for the uniform and click copy. Press A for the direct selection tool and select the top anchor point. Now press the delete key. Next we will draw eyes. Let's zoom in. Press L for the ellipse tool and draw a small and narrow ellipse. Let's change the stroke weight to 2. Now let's make another copy on top of this one. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. Next, change the fill color to black. Press V for the selection tool and let's resize it. Now let's make a copy. Select both parts and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, move it to the right to make a copy. Select both eyes and place them on the face. Press Ctrl-0 to see the whole page. Now let's draw a little antennas. Select the pen tool. Change the fill color to none. And draw a little antennas. Select both of them and let's change the stroke weight to 5. Now change the stroke color to none and the fill color to black. And draw a small circle on the end of the antenna. Now press the letter V for the selection tool and holding the Alt key on your keyboard make a copy. Select the face, right click with the mouse and select group. Now let's tilt it a bit and place it about here. Drag a box to select everything and move it down. 
Now we are going to add black dots. Press L for the ellipse tool. Click somewhere here and holding the shift and alt keys on your keyboard draw a small circle. Now click on it and holding the alt key move it up to make a copy. And make two more copies. Now let's change the shape of this one and rotate it. And do the same with this one. Let's make a copy of this one and move it to the other side. And a copy of this one and move it over here. And one more copy. Next, with this dot selected, press and hold the shift key and select this dot and the red shape. Then go to the Shape Builder tool, click on the artboard and holding the Alt key on your keyboard, draw a line across the part you want to delete and do the same with the other dot. Press V for the selection tool and select this red part. Now we will add a gradient to it. Go to Window and select Gradient. Next, click on the red color box, hold and move it to the gradient slider. Then open the swatches panel, select the white color box and holding the Alt key on your keyboard choose the yellow color. Now double click on the color box and slide the yellow slider to about right here. Then change the type to Radial. Press the letter G for the Gradient tool. And adjust the gradient. Deselect. Press V for the Selection tool again. Select the other red part. Press I for the eyedropper tool and click on this part to apply the same gradient. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.